Hi, how are you? It's been way too long since we've last been on here, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm fine, thanks for asking. Okay, so welcome back on the nation server. I don't know what number of episode this is right now, and I'm just trying to get this uh, pig over quickly, and the scraper needs to die, because I want to show you something, but um, it's quite... Uh, interesting how long it takes to find an actual pig because everything has been raided in my area and I hope he's not gonna die now because he's already been taking damage um let's go down here and kill the spider real quick don't get hit pig all right take the safe way around and come down okay so it just turned night time now it's midnight and I'm walking around with a pig on a leash uh, get out of here. I don't want to have you explode on my pig. Um, come here. Where did you drop your lead? Uh, I don't know. Nah, just come with me and stay on the lead. Alright, so, um, UHC, UHC. It's not over yet, I think. Man, so many creepers. Who well, are no, get, get locked. <sighs> All right, let's try and get a new pig. So UHC is not over yet, and um, uh, I hope you're all enjoying this. It was a lot of fun to play. I cannot give you any spoilers, however, um, so I think I'm gonna keep this short. But it was a very interesting match, and you should definitely check out all the other perspectives as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it about it. And if you haven't checked it out already, um, just do so. There will be a link in the video description if I don't forget, which I tend to do. And I'm walking in circles. So nighttime is probably not the best time to do this. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and find a pig and then I'll be right back. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm not even gonna go away and what is this a chest right there let's see who is a uh, chest that is maybe we can raid some stuff because this is my territory <laughs> officially my territory maybe I even placed that there in the beginnings or something I don't know uh, yeah there's a bunch of stuff in there which I don't really need but what is this that's definitely not for me uh, zero zero Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That's kind of neat. It's right next to my base. Like, pretty close. That's cool. I bet that's from the rapid rail. And we can actually sleep in here, which is even better. And who's attacking? Is it only you? Okay. Oh, pack spawning. Okay, can I sleep now? Perfect. So, um... If you haven't heard of the Rapid Rail, that's a project CPTV has been working on and is working on at the moment. And it seems like uh, he's done quite some progress. I just took a glance at it in the Nether Hub and we are also going to check it out. But first of all, I want to show you something interesting. I don't know why I want to show it to you, but I consider it to be pretty cool. And let's see, uh, do I still have the lead? No. Alright, then we need to do this right here. Okay, stay piggy. Piggy, hey, no, stay where you are. Okay, you go there and I need you to go into this card, would ya? Perfect, nice piggy. Alright, so, um, now let's see here. I'm gonna put a block right there and push you on the track and actually one right there as well. And now go back, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And now what we want to, uh, what we're gonna do is we are <laughs> just gonna extend this track for a little bit, and then you're gonna see what I'm going for with this pig. Um, basically, this is a trick to save up on some gold, which you would use for powered rails, but you don't actually have to use it because. Um, you know you can control the minecart with W but it's not really fast and the cool thing about this is that you can actually 
control the pig itself when it's in the minecart and has a saddle on him so let's try this out real quick um okay here we go destroy that and let's put a saddle on him perfect and now what you'll see is that if we press W it'll not do anything like I'm pressing it right now but if I press S which is uh, normally for going backwards it goes forward so it has a pretty nice uh, momentum I have to press W uh, to you know to um, break sort of and I don't want you to drown so get up piggy um, basically this is just a trick for you um, maybe you can need it uh, for something and that's also uh, one thing that I wanted to show maybe CPTV if you're watching this you are also gonna use this for your rapid rail for example um, you need to keep holding uh, the the um, S key but the pro side of this is as I said that you are not gonna use up that much gold so now give me my saddle back thank you very much I am going to no, I think I'm not even gonna bother about this. I'm just gonna let it uh, sit here. Maybe uh, CPTV needs it, and we're gonna head into this direction because I also want to head over to spawn. There's so many new things to show you. Um, haven't been on here in like one week. I have just looked at things, and I didn't really, yeah walk around and this might be a premiere or something for me as well if I see something new and so let's go over to my base my bus cemente should be somewhere in the direction here did I really walk away so far really <laughs> is that my pirate bay I hope so no but it looks like oh there's my pirate bay all right that's good this area also look, uh, looks nice with a little cove. Yeah, definitely. I guess that's what you call cove, right? I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't been working on on this. I've been kind of keeping it on a hold. Um, but I might be working on it a little bit more. But for now, I don't want to get into decorating too much. I want to get into business and action. So, uh, hello? world why don't you load in f3 a no nothing again hello why don't you load in right now okay that's weird let's relog and see if anything ah there we go all right so I want to get into business and prepare for 1.8 even though we cannot do that much in preparation for 1.8 um, so yeah as I said that's why I've been keeping the nation episodes on a little bit of a hold and let's go over to spawn and let's check things out okay so nothing really has changed at my base bunk 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 alarm system still works perfectly fine and let's go through here jump a little bit around uh, nether hub is basically a big big mess and you can see something down there which seems to be the rapid rail I think we'll uh, check that out as well so this was the old nether hub um, we go up here pretty much everything has been destroyed that has been here also my villager sort of burned or something I don't know um pretty much yeah gas blew up in here and so everything was lit on fire and uh, wood is definitely not the best type of material to choose to build a nether hub in a fiery place as you can see right there um so it basically looks like an adventure map itself <laughs> Um, but first let's go down there and check out the rapid rail station. I don't even know which way it is right now because it's so messy, but I guess we can just jump down here a little bit of a shortcut, um, which is not intended to be a shortcut, but oh well, what can you do? 
Cam decided to build the nether hub, but then he somehow left it, so somebody needs to pick it up as well. And if somebody's watching that wants to pick it up, oh, that was dangerous. Um, feel free to do so, I guess. All right, that's that. Let's go around and see if there's a good entrance to it. Uh -huh. No, let's turn this off. Man, so much fire from the big white marshmallows. Uh, wait, there's an entrance right here, but I cannot get through. So let's try this. Okay, perfect. So this is what he's going for with the design. I really like the cyan glass. Um, and this looks like it'll be an intersection or a junction. He's using redstone. Oh. That looks interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> there sure is some rail mess going on. Maybe I'm spoiling something or... Yeah, I shouldn't look at that. But I'm definitely curious to see what he does with it. Uh, so let's finally go back to Lespono. And I'm running low on chicken. I don't know why. Ooh. <laughs> don't die now. Don't die. I died like... A few hours ago then I left and luckily I got all my stuff but the problem was that um, I died at spawn and then I respawn at the flower forest because I've slept there in the bed last time when I recorded with uh, Melissa Moonmel, bricks on the loose and we had our little caving trip there and so yeah I just broke the beds replaced them and then went to die again so yeah that's pretty much the thing to do just break the beds and then kill yourself again to respawn at your initial spawn point okay so let's see if we've got any donations no nothing um i've got some redstone blocks over at the flower uh shop i guess that's from doc payment at your flower shop bought them all Okay, nice, thank you. Collected it so I can pick it up, I guess. Um, there were these poppies here. I guess I can take that down as well. Which I had on sale, 32 for one redstone block. And he bought them <laughs> and he used them to prank Melissa. Um, if you haven't seen her last video, also check that out. And we haven't really gotten anything else off of it. But it's nice. It's pretty much, yeah, just for fun. And speaking of businesses or shops in general, um, let's go over to the flower shop. Not the flower shop. We were there. Um, the potion shop that I've been speaking of. And I've been changing up my mind a little bit because... In the last episode, I showed a little bit of a design where you throw stuff behind the counter. Um... I wanted to do this and I also still want to do this but there's just no space um look at this I think it looks pretty good and the roof is super big which I am NOT a too big fan of but yeah what can you do there's a an explanation to it I might remove that ladder later on and replace it with something like an ender pearl elevator or something what I want to do up here also added in some glass so we could look out some daylight in here. I want to make this right here my um, potion room. So this is probably where I'm going to uh, prepare all the potions that I'm going to sell. Or pretty much um, gift out. Like, you know, um, you know what I mean. I'm going to put them in the chests there and then people can take whatever they want and they can donate of course and this is probably where I'm gonna do it and I have way too less carpet but that's not gonna matter so what I planned is we just put some cauldrons here just for fun um, I wanted to put some water here as well because you know when you have your water bottles let's see if we've got some glass bottles or glass in general in the chest here Mm, but I don't think so. There's glass panes. 
Uh, uh, uh. No, auto glass panes. No, sadly not. But you know, when you uh, fill them up in the cauldron, the cauldron eventually gets empty. But if we use a regular water source, it's not going to get emptied at all. You don't even need these 2x2 two two or 3x1 uh, water sources. You only need a 1x1 one one, uh, source and that's going to keep you covered for days and days and days. So that's what I wanted to put up here, but I don't know where yet. Maybe we'll do something fancy. Hmm. Huh. Where could you put that? I guess I'll just put it right here for the moment. I know this is not going to stay like this. I'm just going to put it right here. Yeah, probably. And yeah, as you can see, I don't have many building blocks on me. So I'm just going to put these here. So we can at least start brewing stuff. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare some stuff. And then I will be right back. Okay. Look at that. I've got uh, some more covered in here. And I've also added in some more water. Because I think that looks better than only the one source. Which I was just speaking about a few minutes ago. And now I decided to make an infinite source. Because it looks better. And what we can do right now. Is just fill up some water bottles. And put all of them in here. And then they'll be converted. Of course this is not the most efficient uh, brewing setup you can have but I like it just you know just to have some kind of uh, <laughs> I don't know why but I'm thinking of something like a backyard um, I don't know if you can say backyard but in German we say Hinterhof and that means sort of like mafia not legal and you don't <laughs> really know about it sort of that stuff um, <laughs> um which you cannot really see from the outside but up there that's where the magic happens and what I want to do right now just to get some uh, attraction into this building because I cannot see any people coming in here too often and I want to encourage them to give me some of their money or gold and what I thought about was something pretty simple um, but still I think pretty cool which is something like this yeah something like that okay that's good and we need some blocks I guess we'll just use these for the momo um, a comparator then some of these again okay bunk bunk and now another dropper and then what do I want to have now maybe let's see maybe another dropper facing down yeah I think that would be uh, better than a chest in the ground right mm, or facing this way it doesn't really matter uh, unless it doesn't get activated that wouldn't be good but you see now it looks sort of like a little bit of something something <laughs> um, I need rugs, carpet, to cover this up. Huh. So the basic idea of this is that when people put something in here, um, not much is going to happen in the beginning. Because we've got the comparator here. It's going to register when an item is going through here. But I don't know if the signal is too strong or not. So let's see. This goes there. No, this is actually all wrong. Dang it. Um, let's get this out of here again. Uh, not the best thing to do. Um, okay, let's see here one, uh, one more time. We need this here. That was correct. Okay, we need the comparator here. That's all good. And now we need this dropper right here faced into a hopper ah I see where this is going that's looking better 
And now we want another bit of redstone to go right here and also right there. Perfect. There we go. And this is stretching quite a bit into width. I don't know if I want to have that or not. <laughs> Too much thinking going on. Just do it, Nick. Just do it. You're all waiting for it, I guess. Um, that there, and then I don't. I want to have it centered. You know what? I'm gonna figure something out because this will just uh, take me ages, and I'm not gonna get anything done. I got it. All right. So what this is all about is these hoppers right here are the input. That's where you are going to throw your stuff in. And the rest is probably going to be covered up. Uh, not that chest right there. This is where you can get prizes. Yeah, you can even get prizes for donating stuff for free stuff. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You can just throw your garbage in here, likely gold yeah hopefully gold uh, hopefully these guys are not too greedy <laughs> so they throw their stuff in here it's in it ends up in this chest and once it goes through these hoppers this uh comparator will get a signal out of that and now what we want to do is we put in all sorts of different items in there um which we don't want to have like which don't stack and maybe also a dirt block mm, and a ball. So now what you have, uh, let's take that back. Perfect. So now what you have is you've got four items that are stackable up to 64. So one normal stack. However, this bow right here can only, yeah, it cannot be stacked. And that means that when the... Um, dropper uh, drops a random item out of here into this hopper um, it'll flow back by the way um, this comparator will trigger a different amount of signal that means if you've only got like the button in there it'll only have a signal strength of one because there's only one button in there and it can go up to 64 However, if there's a bow in there, it's going to take up more space because it cannot be stacked and thus it limit a stronger signal. And um, I set this to three right now with a repeater right here to power another dropper, which has cookies in it for the moment. And this feeds into a chest. So let's try this out. OK, now. By the way, you've got a 1 in 5 chance to get a cookie. And when you get a cookie, you'll get notified by this uh, note block right there. So let's try it out. Let's uh, throw in some line carpet. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. There we go. You heard it. And now we got a cookie for donating. And we can eat it nice and tasty and we'll likely come back because we like that business so much all right that's uh, basically the entire plan behind this um i'm probably gonna cover this up with a little bit of wood and i don't know about this if i should put a chest or um just leave it like that or a carpet on there because for some reason i like the look of this and I'm probably going to leave the chest in here as well because it's so centered and I really like it. But I think I'm probably going to put carpet right there. So what you do, let's do it one more time. You give me your gold, not your crap, but I'm just going to simulate it. You give it to me and I didn't, uh, I didn't hear anything. So you're not going to get any cookie. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just how it goes. And when you are done, then you are going to go away. And after that, I am going to come after a little bit of time, go down here and the system should be, oh, don't destroy it. Don't destroy it. It's so nicely built right now. Uh, let's put it back right here. And then I can just uh, do a little bit of parkouring to get up here. Yeah, this should probably be pretty easy. And then I can reach up to that chest. Just, uh. I cannot go through here. It's a little bit complicated to get there, but eventually I think I'll get there. 
let's hope there's no water nearby uh, yeah perfect and then we can get to this chest collect our donations which is all nice and dandy then we can climb up here once again cover this up and then we are all fine all right that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this episode please be sure to leave a like and as always thank you for watching take care and i will see you all in the next episode